brought to you by wikivd.com. Mary Jane Watson Mary Jane, M.J. Watson is a fictional character appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. Created by Stan Lee and John Romita, Sr. The character made her first appearance in The Amazing Spider-Man 5. She has been the best friend, main love interest and wife of Peter Parker, the alter ego of Spider-Man. The character has been portrayed by Kirsten Dunst in the three Spider-Man feature films directed by Sam Raimi and by Shailene Woodley in deleted scenes of the 2014 film, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Publication History Mary Jane Watson, is first mentioned in The Amazing Spider-Man 5, and is initially used as a running joke of the series, as Peter Parker's Aunt May repeatedly attempts to set her unwilling nephew up on a date with her. Parker consistently worms his way out of meeting Mary Jane who, were aside from a brief appearance in Five with her face obscured, is never actually seen until The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Peter David wrote in 2010 that artist John Romita, Sr. made the definitive statement of his arrival by pulling Mary Jane out from behind the oversized potted plant that blocked the reader's view of her face in issue 5, and placing her on panel in what would instantly become an iconic moment. Romita has stated that in designing Mary Jane, he used Anne Margaret from the movie Bye Bye Birdie as a guide, using her coloring, the shape of her face, her red hair, and her form-fitting short skirts. According to co-creator Stan Lee, he and Romita had intended for Gwen Stacy to be Spider-Man's one true love, and introduced Mary Jane, just for fun, but that somehow, Mary Jane seemed to have all the personality, and much as we tried to make Gwen more attractive, we couldn't. We, ourselves, felt that Mary Jane ended up being not only more attractive, but more fun and more interesting. And we finally decided to let Peter end up with her, but it was as though the characters had taken over the names Mary Jane and MJ are also common slang terms for marijuana. When asked about this, Stan Lee claimed it was purely coincidental that he knew nothing about drugs and never tried marijuana. Jerry Conway succeeded Stan Lee as writer of The Amazing Spider-Man in 1972. Conway pushed Mary Jane to the forefront of the cast and made her a serious love interest. For Peter Parker, like Lee, Conway found Mary Jane to be more compelling than Gwen. Mary Jane hadn't lost the edge that made her an interesting character. Gwen didn't have an edge. She was just a nice person. I don't think she had a mean bone in her body, and wasn't likely to do something that was likely to screw things up for Peter, out of some misguided sense of self-aggrandizement, which Mary Jane was quite capable of doing which makes her a much more interesting character. In 1987, the character was married to Spider-Man in The Amazing Spider-Man Annual 1. As a consequence, writer J.M. Dematteis made Mary Jane and her marriage to Spider-Man one of the central themes of the critically acclaimed Craven's Last Hunt, published the same year as The Wedding. Dematteis commented that Craven's Last Hunt has a lot of darkness in it, but the story primarily is about Peter and his journey into the light and the power of simple human love. The reason Peter makes it out is because he has Mary Jane in his life, and that is his salvation. Marvel editor-in-chief Joe Quesada said that he feels the marriage ages the characters, making them less appealing to young readers, and lessens the dramatic, soap opera possibilities, but also stated that, divorcing a widowing, or annulling the marriage, would only be worse. He has also pointed out that the marriage itself was editorially mandated 
Stan Lee decided to marry the characters in his daily newspaper strip hand. Even though the two were not even dating at the time in the comic book series, it was decided to marry them in the regular Marvel Universe as well. In 2007, Quesada presided over the controversial One More Day storyline, which he also drew, in which Peter and Mary Jane's marriage is erased from history and everyone's memories by the devil Mephisto. Quesada states he is an avid fan of the Peter and MJ relationship, and in several interviews has claimed that the alternate MC2 universe, in which Peter and Mary Jane are happily married, is a natural progression of the characters. 1965-1987 Mary Jane is depicted as an extremely beautiful, green-eyed redhead, and has been the primary romantic interest of Peter Parker for the last 20 years. Although initially competing with others for his affection, most prominently with Gwen Stacy and the Black Cat, Mary Jane's relatively unknown early life was eventually explored in The Amazing Spider-Man 59. Early issues of The Amazing Spider-Man featured a running joke about Peter dodging his Aunt May's attempts to set to him up with that nice Watson girl next door, whom Peter had not yet met and assumed would not be his type, since his aunt liked her. Mary Jane made her first actual appearance in The Amazing Spider-Man 5. Although her face was obscured, it is not until The Amazing Spider-Man 2 that her face is actually seen. In that issue, on the last page, Peter finally meets her, and he is stunned by her beauty even as she speaks the now famous line, Face it, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot, Peter begins to date her, much to the annoyance of Gwen Stacy. However, they eventually become irritated with each other and Peter subsequently chooses to date Gwen, Mary Dane, who becomes Harry Osborne's love interest and girlfriend, remains a close friend to Peter and Gwen. Despite her enjoyment of life, her friendships, and dating, Mary Jane refuses to be tied down for too long. When her relationship with Harry Osborne comes to an end, it has significant impact on Harry, driving him to a drug overdose. This in turn creates a boomerang effect, driving his father Norman Osborne to the brink of insanity, temporarily restoring his memories as the Green Goblin. After the Green Goblin murders Gwen in The Amazing Spider-Man 21, Mary Jane attempts to comfort Peter. Peter, who is distraught over the loss of Gwen Stacy, angrily confronts MJ about her seemingly flighty and carefree attitude. He questions her ability to ever care about people like him and Gwen, and states, You wouldn't be sorry if your own mother died, unaware that her mother had actually died. Mary Jane is hurt by Peter's comments. She attempts to leave, but hesitates as she approaches the door, and ultimately chooses to stay with him. This served as a turning point in the relationship, and over the next couple of years, she and Peter become very close friends. Eventually, upon realizing the feelings that they share for one another, they decide to take their relationship to the next level. Their relationship has a few initial hurdles, such as MJ's hot temper and Peter's always dashing off to be Spider-Man. Despite loving Peter, MJ does not wish to be tied down, and when she allows the relationship to progress too far, she is left with a difficult decision. When Peter proposes to her, after taking a short time to consider, she turns him down. Following a series of traumatic experiences involving Peter's absences and his costumed alter ego endangering his Aunt May, a spiritually exhausted MJ leaves New York for several months. Peter meanwhile dates other women, most notably Felicia Hardy. MJ eventually returns, her behavior showing a marked change with her abandonment of her false front. 
Following an attack on Peter by Puma, she breaks down and admits her knowledge of Peter's secret identity in The Amazing Spider-Man 57. After learning of her own family history in The Amazing Spider-Man 59, Peter finds a new respect for her and begins to truly understand her. MJ makes it clear to Peter that knowing his identity changes nothing about her feelings, and that she only loves him as a friend. Despite the one-shot graphic novel Amazing Spider-Man, Parallel Lives, and untold tales of Spider-Man 6 revealing that Mary Jane discovered Peter's secret when she noticed Spider-Man climbing out of Peter's bedroom window after his uncle's murder. Many comics published before this revelation claimed that she had simply figured it out, with the details of how and when left ambiguous to the reader. After yet another period of reconsidering his priorities in life, Peter contemplates letting go of the Spider-Man mantle, with Mary Jane backing the decision. But his relationship with Felicia Hardy soon resumes. Feeling lost and guilty, Peter visits Mary Jane and apologizes with an awkward kiss before heading to Berlin with Ned Leeds. Following Ned Leeds' murder at the hands of the foreigner, a changed and bitter Peter returns to New York, where his lack of direction in life is not helped. When Ned is framed as the Hobgoblin, and Felicia elects to leave Peter behind as she is tied to the foreigner, Mary Jane returns to Peter, presumably to patch things up. But Peter surprises her with a second proposal of marriage, which MJ again turns down. She returns to her family to settle old debts with her father, with Peter following her. After aiding her sister in having her crooked father arrested, and aiding Peter against a spider slayer, Mary Jane has an epiphany on marriage, and agrees to become Peter's wife. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.